Hi everyone, it's Polina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Polina. I make gymnastics and tumbling related videos and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do an aerial. Before we begin, make sure to stretch out your shoulders, ankles and legs to make sure that you stay safe whilst learning this. Let's start off with some simple cartwheels. Because an aerial is quite a fast and short skill, try and make your cartwheels short and fast as well. Now let's try some dive cartwheels. A dive cartwheel is a cartwheel when you jump onto your hands like this. It might help to film yourself doing it and try and stay in the air for a little bit longer each time. To practice the end part of the aerial we're going to do some pop cartwheels. To do this you need to push off your shoulders before you put your feet down so you're fully in the air for a fraction of a second. I find these more difficult than dive cartwheels so it might take you a while to get but you can still take videos of yourself and play it back to see if you're there yet. After you're confident with dive and pop cartwheels, it's time to join the two together into a dive pop cartwheel. So in this, you're only putting your hands down in the middle part of the cartwheel. Now let's talk about the hurdle step. To go into an aerial, you need to have a super powerful hurdle step so you can get all the momentum you need to get all the way around. Practice by starting with your good leg in front, stepping onto your bad leg, and driving your good leg into the air like this. Try and make this as fast, high and powerful as you can. For the arm movement, you need to have your arms up by your ears in the hurdle and then swing them backwards as you go into the aerial. You can practice this drill to make sure that you get the hang of it. Now practice doing the hurdle step and then connecting it with the arm movement like this. It's time to try the actual aerial. This can be super scary, especially if you've never done it before. So I'd suggest to start off by doing it on an air track mattress or a trampoline. You could also get somebody to spot you with your aerial. The spotter should hold you by your hips and help you over like this. You're probably gonna need a little bit more help than that to get your aerial. So here are some tips that you guys suggested when I asked you on my Instagram story that helped you get your aerial. One, have a powerful run. Now notice that I say powerful, not long. Your run into your aerial shouldn't exceed four or five steps because otherwise it'll be hard for you to focus on doing the actual skill. Two, jump high, not far. Your aerial should be relatively short, so aim your energy upwards rather than forwards. Three, think fast legs and push your back leg as hard as possible to get your legs round. Four, like a spring, you have to go down to go up. So think of pushing off your floor with your front leg, just like a spring would do. Five, watch other people do an aerial and compare it to your own attempts to see what you can improve on. Six, make sure that you're looking up at the start of your aerial to help you get the height you need. Seven, it's easier to do your aerial with your arms straight, not bent. This will also make it less likely for you to put your hands down. Eight, picture yourself doing your aerial before you go to give you more confidence in yourself. Nine, at the end, try and keep your chest up. This will make the aerial a lot easier to land. 10. Hold small objects like scrunchies in your hands so you don't put your hands down. Finally, you need to commit to doing the aerial. If you're going to go for it, you're going to put everything you've got into it. It may not be today, it may not be in a month's time, but one day you're going to get this skill. So believe in yourself when you do it. I really hope this video helped you guys get your aerial. If you did, then please check out the description for more gymnastics tutorials on skills like back tucks, full twists, front aerials, and loads more. You can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok for more gymnastics and tumbling content. And feel free to subscribe down below for more videos from me. Bye.